absolute living life out of it. So we put a methanol kit on it, and it's got this really nice control nodule. This is a nod key control. Did you call it a nodule? Module, nodule. It's a nodule. Nodule, module. <laughs> you can crank up how much you want it to inject. It's got dual nozzles and like a four gallon tank in the back. And so how it works is red light here comes on when you're low on methanol. And then right here it turns green when it's actually actively spraying. So we're gonna get this thing uh, going here and do some pulls. So we know what she's capable of, but first we gotta turn traction control off. The intake air temps was way too hot. Way so too hot. The so methanol can... helps cool everything. Yeah, so it's going sprays, into the blower. Sprays it coming into the intake. Cools everything down because the computer was shutting us down on burnouts last time. So. The other thing with methanol injection too is like this car, the blower has 170,000 miles on it also. So the rotors aren't exactly sealed like they used to be, you know, it was brand new. So the meth actually spraying in there actually seals up the blower a little bit better and actually give you a little bit more boost also. Give it a couple revs, get that meth kit purged up. Oh, you got your little purge button. So it's red when it's sensing that there's some kind of vacuum or boost in the blower, and then it's green when it's actually actively spraying. All right, you ready? Let's give her a rip, bud. some burnout so I'm gonna go lay down a little test Bernie testing out the new pad look at all these fans in the sands I mean it is packed let's go I talked to Zach Hellcat down at Shop Hellcats. He's telling me to check the inlet map sensor on the snout because there's an O-ring. So he wants to make sure that O-ring isn't sucked in or cut because that could be throwing the computer all haywire. So we'll see. All right, so here's the sensor right here. I've got it unplugged. I'm about to pull it out and check it. See how she looks. Here's the sensor. And it is quite dirty. So we're gonna get her cleaned up and get her put back in, but the O-ring looks completely fine and see if that'll help. All right, you know, another little brake cleaner can't fix. Got her cleaned up quite a bit. Also, Zach was saying to put a space, like a little washer to pump the sensor off the, off the uh, intake a little bit so it doesn't get as much airflow could help. So we're gonna do all of those things. I just wanna show y'all how we're just like every one of you. 
As we were putting this screw in, we dropped it down in the motor. So we pulled one off the blower. It was too long, so we stacked a bunch of washers underneath it. And now she's dialed, dude. So we're gonna test her again. Right here in the pits. Make sure Garrett's not here. Sitting still when I do it? No. Oh, well. again it's pouring rain so we haven't started the olympic contest yet so we're just kind of putting on an exhibition so i'm gonna go out for round two and see how we do all right folks put your hands together a good buddy and dentist dr parker mitchell She sounds good. Pop one tire, right? She said, "Oh yeah, you got it, dude. You got it for sure." Oh, so close, I dude. I, I thought it. So oh yeah. This one's this one's gone, dude. She's done. You're done, dude. That was good, dude. She sounds hey, you good. Know, better than the first time I went out there, but I think I'm about to pull the belt. Let's go check. Check it. Take a look at it. I know my car. I don't. <laughs> Oh, uh, belts are we're good. good, dude. What's All it right. doing? Nothing. I guess I just got. I thought it felt the belt pop off. Like I heard a whap, and then I kind of. I think it was the tire, dude. No, I knew that, but I don't know. I well, no, I think I know. What I heard, and I thought this tire was gonna blow. I wonder if something popped off of that tire. Probably. And you're like, oh, I think I heard it. Yeah. You got a little nervous, you know. She's my baby. You know? Hey. Gotta take care hey. Of her, right? No, honestly, this is a great car. It makes like 850 to 900 real horsepower, which is super fun for driving on the street, doing burnouts. But I mean, nothing better than doing like a stock hell guy doing a burnout. But since I've done things like bigger injectors, smaller upper pulley, bigger lower pulley, methanol, sometimes the computer just doesn't love it because there's so many sensors on these new cars. So maybe we just switch it over to a Holly. I don't know. Dude, you too, brother. Finally, yo, you got a great. <laughs> Great freaking burnout. <laughs>
Parker, come here, bud. Well, the old Hellcat said not today. Oh boy, this expansion tank is not happy. Ooh, definitely overheated it. Had to have blown a head gas. These belts are intact. Uh, serpentine belt still on. She's probably just overheated. Ooh. No bueno. You can see under here, they were leaking a lot of coolant. I don't know what it's from, but we're leaking. Let's see if this thing will even crank over or if she's hide or locked. Ooh, she's locked up. Dang. Well, looks like it done did the motor. Well, we locked up the motor. I mean, it won't even turn over at all. There's coolant everywhere. I don't know if it's the head gasket and the tighter locked or what, but we truly gave it our all. We did t three test runs. The Hellcat has lived a great life. 176,000 miles on this ripper, and she was amazing. I can't wait to see what we're gonna do in the next. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We'll see you on the next episode. Fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only $39. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonic Hair, except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush out every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.